Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'm looking at 1.2 multiplying complex numbers. 1.2 represents chapter 1, section 2 of the Core Pure 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key fact of this section. Consider i is equal to square root minus 1. If I square both sides, I get i squared is equal to minus 1. I'm going to be implementing this key fact within two exam style questions. Here is the first exam style question. Given that a plus 3i in brackets multiplied by 1 plus bi in brackets is equal to 25 minus 39i, find two possible pairs of values for a and b. Let's have a look at the solution. I'm going to begin by expanding the double brackets. So I've got a plus 3i multiplied by 1 plus bi. So a multiplied by 1 is a. a multiplied by positive bi is positive abi. 3i multiplied by 1 is positive 3i and then 3i multiplied by positive bi is positive 3bi squared. Okay, so I've got a plus abi plus 3i plus 3b, i squared is minus 1, so 3b multiplied by minus 1. a plus abi plus 3i minus 3b. So I'm going to collect the real terms and then collect the imaginary terms. I've got a minus 3b in bracket plus abi plus 3i. Now over here we've got a common factor of i between these two terms. So I can write in brackets, take out the i. And inside the bracket I've got ab plus 3. Okay, so... We must have that a minus 3b plus ab plus 3 in brackets multiplied by i has to equal to the right hand side 25 minus 39i. Okay, so that 25 minus 39i, you can rewrite it as 25 plus minus 39 in bracket i. I'm going to be comparing the real terms and the imaginary terms. So if I compare the real terms, I can see that a minus 3b has to equal 25. So a minus 3b is equal to 25. Equation number 1. Now I'm going to compare the imaginary terms. So the ab plus 3 has to equal minus 39. Equation 2. Let's go back to equation 1 and let's make a the subject. So if I do that, I get a is equal to 25 plus 3b, equation 3. Now I can substitute equation 3 into equation 2. So I'm going to substitute 3 into 2. So if I do that, I get, replace the a with 25 plus 3b, multiplied by b, plus the 3, is equal to minus 39. I'm going to expand the bracket. 25b plus 3b squared plus 3 is equal to minus 39. Take everything to one side. So I've got 3b squared plus 25b, then 3 plus 39 plus 42 equal 0. Factorize this. I get 3b plus 7 in bracket and then b plus 6 in bracket equals 0. So now I can set each bracket equal to 0 and then solve for b. If I do this, I get b equal minus 7 over 3 and then b equal minus 6. Substitute these b values back into equation 3 to work out the corresponding a values. Okay, so if I substitute b equal minus 7 over 3 back into a, I get a equal to 18. And then if I substitute b equal minus 6 back into uh, the a equation, equation number 3, I get a equal to 7. Okay, so that there completes the exam style question. Here is another exam style question. Express 1 plus i in bracket to the power 6 in the form a minus bi, where a and b are integers to be found. Ladies and gents, expanding 1 plus i in bracket to the power 6 basically means open it up into 6 brackets of 1 plus i and then expand each. This is going to take a long time. We can quickly expand this using the binomial expansion formula. 
please have a look at my playlist Pure One Chapter 8 Binomial Expansion. Anyways, let's begin. So we have 1 plus i in bracket to the power 6. I'm going to expand it using the binomial expansion formula. I've got 6 choose 0, 1 to the power 6, i to the power 0. Plus 6 choose 1, 1 to the power 5, i to the power 1. Plus 6 choose 2, 1 to the power 4, i to the power 2. Plus 6 choose 3, 1 to the power 3, i to the power 3. Plus 6 choose 4, 1 to the power 2, i to the power 4. Plus 6 choose 5, 1 to the power 1, i to the power 5. Plus 6 choose 6, 1 to the power 0, i to the power 6. Okay, so now I'm going to be simplifying certain coefficients. So this one here, this one here, this one here, this one here, this one, this one, this one and this one using my calculator. Okay, so I've got the following result. The first term becomes 1 lots of i to the power 0 plus the second term becomes 6 lots of i to the power 1. Next term, 15 lots of i to the power 2. Then 20 lots of i to the power 3. And then we have 15 lots of i to the power 4, followed by 6 lots of i to the power 5, plus the final term becomes 1 lots of i to the power 6. Okay, so now I can remove the brackets. That becomes 1. This one just becomes 6i. This one becomes 15i squared. Then we have 20i cubed, 15i to the power 4, 6i to the power 5, and then i to the power 6. Okay, so we know that i is equal square root minus 1. i squared is equal minus 1. Now i cubed is equal i multiplied by i squared. We know that i squared is negative 1, so negative 1 multiplied by i is negative i. Then we have i to the power 4, which is the same as i squared times i squared, minus 1 times minus 1, which is 1. i to the power 5 can be written as i multiplied by i to the power 4. We know that i to the power 4 is 1, so i times 1 is just i. i to the power 6 is the same as i to the power 3 times i to the power 3. And we know that i to the power 3 is negative i. So negative i multiplied by negative i. This will just give me i squared. But we know that i squared is negative 1. Okay, so now I can go back and substitute certain values in. I've got 1 plus 6i plus 15 lots of i squared, which is minus 1. Um, we know that i cubed becomes minus i. So this one here becomes minus 20i. And i to the power 4 is 1, so that term becomes plus 15. i to the power 5 is just i, so this term becomes plus 6i. And i to the power 6 is negative 1, so we've got negative 1 at the end. Okay, so we're going to simplify this. I've got 1 plus 6i minus 15 minus 20i plus 15 plus 6i minus 1. So 1 minus 1 cancel. And I've got another cancellation here, minus 15 plus 15. And so we've got 6i minus 12i, which is minus 14i. Hence, minus 14i plus 6i is minus 8i. Okay, so this is the answer. 1 plus i in bracket to the power 6 simplifies to minus 8i. And we want to write our answer in the form a minus bi. So this is the same as writing 0 uh, minus 8i. Where a is equal 0 and b is equal 8. That there, ladies and gents, completes the exam study question and this teaching video 1.2, multiplying complex numbers. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. Turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.